So as you may have known, I love Rubik's Cubes. I mean, I have an entire shelf in my room just dedicated to Rubik's Cubes. This is my collection. And in this collection, I have a 2x2. Two two. I average about 8 seconds on 2x2, two two, which is actually kind of, kind of bad. <laughs> but I decided to take a break from solving 2x2 two two normally and learn how to solve it blindfolded. Oh yeah, and I also really like Prime, so I have a whole drawer in my room just dedicated to Prime. And I mean blindfolded. I literally can't see while I'm solving it. We actually use an entirely different method to solve it blindfolded than we do to solve it with our eyes open. So an immediate question that may come to all of your minds is that how is this even possible to solve this without even looking? Well, that's where this cube comes in. This is a lettered cube, and these letters are imaginary on this cube. So what I'm solving, basically what I'm doing is each piece has its own letter, and what I'm doing is doing this algorithm right here, which swaps this piece up here with this piece down here. So it specifically swaps this sticker with this sticker on the bottom. So basically what I do when I'm solving is that I look at what that's not solved and I whatever I need to swap or solve, I move to the swap location, which is down here, and I do the swapping algorithm, and now I, this is swapped, and now I undo that first setup move I did to get it into the swap location. So now that's how you solve this method with your eyes opened, but with your eyes closed, you actually memorize the letters, and all you're doing when you're solving is just thinking of the letters. You don't actually have to think about the swaps anymore. So each swap has a setup move, the algorithm, and then undo the setup move. So that's pretty much it. So yeah, that may sound extremely easy, but it's not. That's just a brief overview of the new method. So now I just kind of wanted to show you guys that I can actually do this. So now what I'm going to do is go on my phone, and I'm going to randomly generate a Rubik's Cube scramble for 2x2. Two two. So here we go. We're going to hold this down to generate a new scramble. And this is the scramble that I'm going to be doing for this specific solve. So now our cube is all scrambled up. And now what I'm going to do is on my iPad, I'm going to write down the letters that I need in order to memorize. So this will probably be sped up because I'm not good at this yet. Okay, so the memorizing is done. The letters I have are D. M, Q, U, V, and G. So now I'm going to make a sentence that will help me remember these letters. My sentence to memorize this is doing morning quotes, you viciously glide. This sounds extremely stupid, but this is what I'm going to be memorizing when I'm solving. So we're going to put on my blindfold or mask, but yeah, doing morning quotes, you viciously glide. Here we go. So doing morning So now the cube is solved. I'm extremely proud of myself for doing this because this is actually very hard to learn, but yeah. If you guys want to see a part two where I learn how to do the three by three blindfolded, it's torture, uh, then leave a like and I'll do that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.